Hi, this is Catapult from Catapult Gaming, and in this video I will be showing you my Lazy Din. So currently I am level 40, and so we're going to be doing a Magic Find run over in normal difficulty. And uh, I'll go through my gear very quickly to show that this is a very easy starter set. So if you're looking for a class to start with uh, in a new ladder, this is something that actually works uh, quite well, uh, especially in the lower levels. And now they've improved it that in later levels, uh, it can work well too. So uh, Scepter here, nothing uh, too special. Something I bought at the shop back when I was level six, actually. Uh, helmet again, very basic. The armor here, same thing. Belt, same thing. The rings are 4% uh, life leech and the Catan seal for 6%. These, uh, you know, just needed gloves and I happen to have those that matched uh, my boots. 40% faster run walk, you know, any uh, run walk boots uh, would uh, do the work for this. I do have this, which is plus one to offensive auras. And the shield is a plus one to paladin skill levels. If I switch over, I do have this hint axe, which is 20% chance of crushing blow. So if I have a fire immune or a boss that has uh, too many hit points for my damage, that helps lower it down uh, to a point where I can finish it off with my regular attacks. Skill wise, you know, very simple build. Uh, you need one point in might to open up uh, Holy Fire, then everything in here. Uh, at some point, I activated Vigor, and uh, everything else uh, has now been in Resist Fire. And once that's done, I'll put everything in Salvation to uh, work on the synergy here. And one trial I had done actually. Uh, is I had bought this uh, scepter here, which is not only plus three holy fire, but but also plus three to resist fire, and it actually doesn't make a difference. So uh, if you look at the synergies, you have to actually activate the points by clicking them. If you get plus skills, uh, the synergies in the bottom do not apply from the plus skill items. So I like to start my run in the Frigid Highlands. Uh, so there is the one monster over here that uh, we're going to kill. Uh, he's always pretty close to the teleport point. And just the AoE damage from the Holy Fire clears all of his minions away. Uh, haven't been too lucky in getting drops from him, but uh, you know, someday uh, I'm sure it'll happen, so I do... Uh, Take that couple of seconds it takes uh, every run to go kill him uh, for that point where uh, he does uh, pay off. Uh, Pindle run over here. Um, at first these mobs uh, they pack quite a punch so the first runs uh, I had to be more careful with them. Uh, but now at this point I just uh, you know run through and uh, no issues. I've been doing this run since uh, I was about level 30, so uh, at first I uh, had to be more careful in all of these areas and make sure that the Holy Fire AoE uh, killed all the mobs before I got too close in. I do skip uh, Bale and Diablo. Uh, I am able to kill both uh, solo, but it is a little bit of a struggle still and uh, just not worth the time, I find. Uh, I'd rather uh, do more runs in and maybe not kill as many mobs uh, each run. But uh, anyway, here I get uh, everything that looks valuable very frequently. Uh, you get runes out of here. Uh, kind of surprised that this run didn't uh, generate any actually. Uh, it's uh, you know quite reliable for uh, runes and uh, especially the tool rune uh, over here. Uh, I got quite a lot of the, those. Uh, and uh, 
Yeah, not quite sure what that one is, but I'll save it aside for later. And uh, look, oh, plus one to all skills. Yeah, not too sure it'll be of use, but I'll just uh, stock it there. If I have more valuable gear to sell, I'll go to uh, Act 5 to sell them, because in normal you don't get uh, the full uh, coins, uh, or at least you're capped to 5k per uh, act, basically. Uh, but in this case, I didn't have anything that reached a cap. So endurance, uh, this is another place where at first I had to be really careful in. Now I can mostly run through with uh, Vigor and just try to find the door to go down to the next level. Uh, I do have Cleanse, so if I get a nasty poison, uh, I can switch to Cleanse it. And if I find I have too many mobs uh, that have aggroed me, uh, then I'll switch over to Holy Fire just to clear them and make it a little bit uh, easier on myself. Because again, this is a lazy den build, so the idea is to make the runs as easy as you can and as stress-free as you can. Uh, this is not a build where uh, you have to be uh, always on high alert and... Uh, you know, if you do a teleport run uh, over here with a low-level sorceress, uh, it uh, doesn't take much for her to uh, get killed in a corner somewhere and uh, die to a whole bunch of mobs. But uh, this build here, you know, quite solid. And uh, and in terms of stats, you know, I still have 87 points that I didn't even assign. So uh, it's not like... Uh, I've put everything in life. Uh, I'm uh, keeping the other ones open just in case if I uh, get a piece of gear that uh, requires more strength uh, or dex, then I can very quickly adjust. Over here, just walk through, kill uh, the mobs uh, pretty quickly. Mephisto does take a bunch of hits to kill, but uh, definitely not a challenge like to open the chest here. Never know what you'll find in that one. And there's another elite, so I tend to clear the elite, so on both sides of here. All right, so in this case, I have three staffs, so definitely worth the trip to Act 5 to sell those, and we'll probably get uh, 10, 20k more coins just for uh, doing a couple of quick teleports. Yep, yeah, so one was worth 25k, the other one 22.5. Uh, it's pretty good. So 72k just for that quick run. And then we'll go to the Black Marsh. Uh, look for the tower to do the Countess uh, downstairs. Switch over to Vigor. Uh, haven't found an easy way to find the tower. Uh, some days it's uh, it seems like you... Uh, bump into it right away and other days uh, you almost have to do the whole map to find it but frequently i find it's not too far from the paths although the roads don't uh, directly lead to it but i tend to look uh, yeah that one was the path to the hole uh, here if i see a whole bunch of mobs like that i'll usually turn off Vigor for a few seconds just to uh, get a tick in of the uh, Holy Fire to clear the mobs away. Or if I see any elite uh, monsters uh, along the way that uh, you'll see they glow uh, different colors from the other ones. 
and they can potentially have uh, interesting uh, rewards uh, for them. So never know when they'll give a set item or unique or a rune or something else. Uh, work more coins that you can use to gamble with later. Yeah, so some days again the tower is right next door and sometimes it seems to be quite elusive, but we have found it over here. And here I'll just run through. If I see a bunch of mobs, I'll switch to Holy Fire just to clear them out in case they have anything interesting, which these ones didn't. Yeah, so between Vigor and the Holy Aura, this is a pretty good build to clear a lot of uh, small mobs uh, very quickly and just uh, get to different areas. It can kill bosses, but that's really not the strength uh, of this build at this level uh, and with this amount of gear. Now, eventually, when you get uh, all the rune words and you start... Uh, reducing the resistance and resistance of your monsters and different pieces like that uh, it can be uh, quite interesting uh, the damage uh, this build can do uh, but just with uh, you know untwinked and there we go to uh, pretty easy to get runes uh, over there So we'll go into my rune system here. So I start with the lowest rune in the top left here, and that's the second one and so forth. So it's easy to follow for the upgrades. And when I hit the bottom here, then it starts over from the bottom there and goes all the way up. So I can see I have uh, four of this uh, rune over here. So I will put three of those ets in the cube and Get those things out. And the uh, flame there. And oh, actually, let's see, that might go back there. Perfect. So I will put this back in. And I got those in a previous run. And the last thing uh, that's left to do for this run is to find the cow uh, level. And so we'll uh, look for a yellow portal on the map. Uh, once you get somewhat clear, it's uh, pretty easy to see that uh, you found it. Uh, so we can see that yellow portal there. When we go near, again, the holy fire clears the little guy defending it. Go into Tristan, pay your honors to the uh, version one of the game. Uh, And let's go get Wurt's leg over here. All right, let's go in. Back when I was level 30 and the biggest difference is basically my resist fire was lower. I would usually take two pings uh, to kill the cows. But now you can see that uh, most of the cows do get uh, killed in the first ping. So uh, that's uh, pretty good at this point. And basically the higher level you get, the 
bigger the radius also gets, uh, which means that uh, you can start uh, even killing the cows uh, as they're off the screen, uh, which is, uh, I mean, for this, uh, you know, this build was built really as a cow killer like this, you know, you just walk around, pick up the loot, and that's really all there is uh, to this. Uh, So in terms of next steps, I'll be uh, working on gearing this character out uh, better and basically doing a bunch of these runs. Uh, there is the king over here, uh, and because we're in the newer version, the Diablo 2 Resurrected, uh, we can kill the king and still open cow portals, uh, which is great. Uh, but yep, yeah, basically I'll uh, keep running uh, this uh, magic find run till I get some uh, a bit of upgraded gear and uh, you know, the XP uh, does slowly go up to. I've kind of hit the limit though. Uh, now that I'm uh, level 40, this run doesn't give as much XP anymore. At first, uh, you get basically almost a full level uh, every run you did, but now it's only a fraction. Uh, but yep, yeah, we'll keep uh, running this a bit more to upgrade the gear and then uh, start working on uh, Nightmare. Uh, and then uh, once I have uh, Nightmare under control, I'll probably do a follow-up video and show what my build looks like at that point. Uh, still not sure if I'll be able to do it uh, without rune words or uh, if the uh, resistance uh, is going to be uh, a major issue uh, in Nightmare. Uh, I know in the very old days that was kind of the downfall of this uh, run that it was great in normal and then uh, as soon as you hit uh, Nightmare and then hell, their, resident, their resistances made this build uh, completely useless. But with some of the rune words now, you can uh, run both uh, your Holy Fire aura and uh, also an aura that reduces the resistance of the monsters, uh, which basically breaks their resistances, which uh, is quite invaluable for this uh, build to work well. And typically I don't necessarily uh, spend uh, time to clear out the whole uh, field. Uh, you know, basically the king usually gives the best of the rewards. So, you know, basically once the king is dead, uh, the rest is less worth it. Uh, but as we can see right now, you know, uh, shell rune is uh, nothing to snicker at. So... Uh, Quite happy that I stayed uh, a, little go a little longer than uh, intended here. Uh, and basically, yeah, cows is a... Because of the number of monsters that you end up killing, uh, cows is a great spot uh, for runes and basically for, you know, a lot of other things too that uh, very frequent to get uh, either a set or a unique item uh, in most runs. So we'll go to Act 5, uh, clear out our inventory a bit and see uh, if we got anything worth keeping in this run. Uh, very frequently, no, but once in a while uh, you do get the uh, pretty cool item. Yeah, this one I'll have to read up a bit on it. Uh, Poison resist is actually quite intriguing. There's some uh, runs of stuff that uh, having more poison resist is always good, uh, depending on your character and level and resistances. Uh, and then the shell is over there. Well, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please uh, post them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.